Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to host your own music bot. So now, let's hop into the video. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need a GitHub account and you're going to need to download desktop GitHub. And you're going to need to create a Heroku account. Don't worry, I'll be leaving the link for all of those down in the description, so you don't have to worry. So now, we're going to start by creating a new repository by clicking on new and we're going to name it MusicBot. And we're gonna go and make it private so no one can see our code. Then we're gonna create repository. So now we're gonna actually uh, go to our like bot. Where is our bot? Here we're gonna open our Visual Studio code. So after it is opened, we're gonna open the bots like uh, project. So don't worry, I, I name it Trancorn, but is the music bot as you can see over here. So basically, uh, I'm not really afraid to show my token is over here. Uh, so you see client.logconfig.token. Okay, so you're gonna remove that. You're gonna delete it like this, and you're gonna type process.env.token like this. Okay. So th that's it pretty much in here, you're gonna just close this now and you're gonna copy it, like let me open it, where is it, here is, so you're gonna open it and you're gonna copy th those, so you're not copying the folder, you're copying the inside folder, so all of this, you're gonna copy as I just did and you're gonna go to documents, okay, after documents, you're gonna just get this over here. Before before we go to documents, you're gonna open GitHub Desktop. Okay. So if it is the first time to you to open it, you will see something like this on the screen right now. And if it is not the first time, uh, so you're gonna go over here and you're gonna press on Add and Clone Repository. And if you if it is the first time, you're gonna just click on uh, like clone repository from internet so now you're gonna choose your repository that is here and I'm gonna press clone okay so now after I open here my like folders files if I go to documents I will find github and then I'll, you will not find all of this you'll just find your like music bot repository search for it here it is over here I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna paste so as you can see this is being pasted so once it is paste you're gonna just close this and open this again and you'll find it over here so you gonna type summary like anything doesn't really matter like my bot and commit to main okay I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and then you're gonna press on publish okay so after it is finally done so after you go here to your website you're gonna reload after you reload you're gonna find them over here so you're gonna create a new file it is easy you got just go here do you see add file you're gonna press on it and then create a new file okay so I'm gonna name this file prot file like this okay make sure the P is capital and now you're gonna type worker like this two points node index.js okay and now commit new file that's pretty much good Okay, so now you're gonna go to your uh, Heroku and you're gonna create a new app. Okay, you're gonna name it whatever you'd like. Let me name it Music Bot. Uh, like, dude. Okay, and now you're gonna press on Create App. 
Okay, so now, after you go here, you're gonna need to open your Discord developer application. Okay. And you're gonna need to go to your, like, the bot, basically. And then, wait, let me actually use the other bot, the Xeon bot. And then you're gonna copy your token, okay? And then you're gonna go uh, where here, and then you're gonna go to settings, and then reveal config var, and key, you'll type token, and a value, you're gonna put uh, like your token, and then press on add, and then hide config var. So now at build, uh, like add build pack, you're gonna press on it, and you're gonna add node.js and then save. And then you're gonna go to this website that you're gonna find the link for it in the description too. I'm gonna copy it, copy the link, go here, add build pack, paste, save, and make sure that the node is uh, like above it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to deploy GitHub. And then search. Here you're gonna find all your repositories. You're gonna choose the music one that we just made. And then you're gonna enable something called automatic deploy. So what is automatic deploy? Basically, it is whenever you just like push your files to GitHub, like publish it to GitHub, it will automatically deploy. So you don't every time have to come over here and press on deploy branch. It will do it for you automatically. You gonna just upload to GitHub and it will do it here automatically. Here you're gonna wait a couple seconds till those are done. And you have to make sure that all of them are checked. Like there will be more in here, not only this one. So should be done in a couple seconds right now. Okay, as you can see it is now done. All of them are checked. So now if I go to resources and I reloaded the website, I must see worker here. As you can see it is there. I'm gonna press on edit and turn it on. Then press on more and view logs. Okay, and here we're gonna just wait a couple seconds. As you can see start processing with command this and now it is online. If I go here and here, if I now made equal play, and let, let me first close my Visual Studio code here, I'm gonna quit as you can see. So if I did equal play, as you can see, it is the bot is actually online 24/7, and even if I close this here, let me close it. It is now closed, and this too. It is now, it, it will still work, as you can see. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it and ciao.